Well, we made it. The boat project is complete. It's been one year, and uh, you know, with the pandemic, uh, price of fuel, everything's going on. We took a little longer than we thought to get it done. We didn't make it by Memorial Day, but uh, we do have it done now, and we're going to cover everything that we did to the boat and the trailer in this video. Now would be a good time for you to subscribe to Bannock Outdoor Television. We're going to cover just about everything that we've done. We're going to cover everything that we've done to the boat. We started off, uh, it had a 1 and 7 8 inch hitch on it. Uh, we made it 2 inch because that's more compatible to what we use. We uh, had to put a new crank on it, the other one was rusted out. We put all new rubbers on it so the boat uh, uh, slides on and off great. Uh, we extended the trailer out and we put uprights and wood on the new wood on the trailer top end bottom so the boat fits on there perfectly we had to move the axle back because we extended the trailer out because of the pods that we put on the boat and uh, we also put new tires on it uh, new hubs and new bearings so basically uh, the only thing that wasn't original is the axles uh, so we're going to cover the boat, what we did to the boat. Uh, we put LED lights on it. Uh, the lights we bought at Harbor Freight. And uh, so they'll be easy to replace if we ever ha have to replace them. The, the lettering came, uh, the vinyl lettering came from uh, Jerome Print Shop in Jerome, Idaho. Uh, it was inexpensive and uh, it really looks good on the boat. Uh, we have taken and put more you see the lights that we put in the front and back we got one facing forward and one facing to the rear uh, we put uh, the mud skipper uh, surface drive on it uh, we bought another throttle for it because uh, because the throttle that was on it didn't give us the full range so we bought one that would give us the full range uh, we put a fuse system in it and switches for all of our electrical stuff uh, we put, uh, the first thing we did was we welded pods on the, get out of the shadow here. We welded pods onto the boat to make it more stable. Even though it's a 14 foot boat, it is so stable now that uh, you just don't know uh, what you'd do without it. We went with a Predator 22 horse motor and uh, it, uh, we've put all the safety devices on it and everything that we need to, uh, when we go. We put a, a, uh, electric fuel pump on it, a bilge pump that, uh, will do 1100 gallons of, an hour. Uh, I think we thought of everything. Uh, the paint we used was, uh, uh, aluminum paint and it, uh, we just love the, the color of it. So, uh, now would be a good time for you to subscribe to Bannock Outdoor Television. And uh, our next project that we're doing is uh, the sled. Hunting season is coming up right around the corner. We've only got about three or four weeks until uh, elk hunting starts and uh, the bow hunting. And, and we want to get into that. So, uh, this is a sled that we bought to pull behind our snow machine. And uh, in the next few days, we're going to have it uh, all welded up and ready to paint. All the holes will be filled. And uh, you'll see this one in the goose hunting videos because we're going to drag all of our decoys in the fields with uh, our sled that we're putting together. Uh, cut back on all the work for us old guys. So. Give her some full throttle. Give her full throttle. Well, we got her running. Sounds mighty good. Uh, looks like it's been sitting here for about, well, the owner said it hasn't been uh, enough water for 17 years, so. 
tires are flat uh, everything looks good looks like it's a kayak holder right now but uh, we took the kayaks out we took a look at it and uh, this is the one this is the one uh, we made a deal on it and